Hey everyone, just wanted to take a quick second to show you my Vortex Chiller. I made this last year very, very hurriedly, right before trick or treat, so it wasn't perfect and it eventually fell apart. So, this past couple weeks for Halloween, I've been just making some improvements. I took all the PVC out. This is the, uh, the exit from the expansion chamber down here. I actually cut two PVC rings. I don't know how well you can see that in there. And kind of use them as clamps. Then silicone everything real nice so that's a lot more solid. It was a lot looser last year. Didn't make a clamp on this one. I think I just spaced out. But this is the input. But it's really solid. Siliconed. Then you got the 45 degree elbow in there. That's also silicone probably about a eight or nine inch piece of PVC. This is a, uh, oh boy, I think, I think two and a half inch. I don't know, two inch, excuse me. But one thing I decided to add was this little cap. This is like a little 75 cent cap, it goes over the end. It's not, not for anything pressurized, but added the cap, drilled a bunch of holes. And cause I have a bad habit of sending ice cubes down there when I fill this with ice. So the cap's a good little touch. I haven't seen anyone out of the cap. Uh, hopefully the fog will be able to go through it easily. The ice shelf is just whatever chicken wire I had laying around. And it is being held up by little T's on three quarter inch PVC. I think they're about four or five inches tall. And then it's just zip tied to the top. I mean, but as easy, easy as it gets. This is a 35 pound Tidy Cats litter container. You know, we own a few cats, so we go through these pretty quickly. So I'm going to fill this up with ice, and uh, we're going to give it a shot. All right. So first, excuse my very messy basement. It's a disaster area down here because it's almost Halloween, and I have everything pulled out, and everything's a mess. But I guess, you know, basements are supposed to be messy. Anyway, filled this up with some ice from my ice maker upstairs in the fridge. I usually fill it about, about an inch below this... Uh, this uh, input pipe, but in the spirit of demonstration, I just, you know, I didn't want to use all my ice. So this is just going to be dumped in a minute. Uh, 400 watt Party City Fogger, nothing too special. I wouldn't recommend using a chiller this size with a with a uh, fogger much bigger just because of just because it's small. You don't want to overwhelm it. If the fog moves too quickly through it, then it's, you know, it's not going to lie low. Uh, so, hopefully we... Uh, Get a good test here. I'll set this off in just a sec. There we go. So, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. I'm going to hit this one more time and get a temp. Actually, no, there's plenty pouring out. I can get a temp right now. So, Temp. Oh, we're gonna get any lower? About 51 degrees, 52 degrees. And that's yeah, it's nice and cool. But I mean like this isn't filled all the way up with ice. And my whole basement is filling up with smoke. So if a smoke alarm goes off, I'm gonna have some questions to answer from my wife, but let's just give this one more one more blast. Fog fluid I'm using is uh, bog fog and uh, it's high density. So it's, you know, beats the pulp out of the stuff you buy from Party City or Spirit Halloween or whatever. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Check the temp one more time. Yeah, it's still about 51 degrees. Oh, going down. So, I mean, if you use this outside uh, in your haunt and it's, you know, no wind and it's like, you know, very low 40s and you're putting on damp grass, this is going to creep even more than it is now. It's probably going to be even colder. So, there you have it. A little Vortex Fog Chiller. And uh, you can make one of these for, you know, way less than 20 bucks. Of course, I need to touch up the paint on this. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Happy Halloween.